Hello, and welcome to Retro Roulette, the show that asks the question, are we ourselves, and do we really know? I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. Also, let's be saved by zero. <laughs> Jason Amherst. Well, how did I get here? And Billy Carter. I have gas! That's... You always have gas. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. I was going to say, that's par for the course. Yeah. Pretty much. Spin this bad boy. Plus one diarrhea. Uh, we, have la- we have landed on plus one diarrhea card, so now we have four. Sweet, dude. Nice. Good. So that's a good start. Spin it again. So I would like to make a public service announcement. Um addressing certain things that have happened within the last few days. Uh Uh-huh. Without going into too much detail, I just want to say this. As much as we on this show like to make fun of political, um, uh, like the politicians in this country, and As much as some of them are just not very good people. With that being said, we as a nation can do much better. Yeah. We should not, um, no matter who it is, if it Biden, Trump, whomever, you should. That totally is a death row. Oh, spider looks pretty cool. You should not um, want to have the sort of violence that nearly happened. Dwayne, you need to calm the fuck down. <laughs> you should not have the sort of Crazy violence that almost occurred a few days ago. It, it should never it come come to- No, it shouldn't. It should have never had to have come to anything like that. And on another note, if you condone this type of violence or have or don't have a problem with it, you're a piece of crap. I mean, listen, Kyle Gas has pretty much destroyed Tenacious D. Yeah. That oh, yeah. was the most idiotic thing you could have possibly done. Even Jack Black was like, you know what? No. Jack lost your, Jack Jack lost thirty-five million dollars. Yeah. Uh yeah. Yeah. And he's going to have to pay all those roadies out of his own pocket now. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Kyle. Also, his talent, the talent agency that Kyle was under, fired him. I, yep. I, I didn't hear what happened with Tenacious D. I don't know what's going on. Okay, be. so to make a long story short, TLDR. Um, it was Kyle Gass's birthday. A cake was brought out on stage in Australia, and they said, make a wish. And Kyle Gass said, I wish the next time they shoot at Trump, they don't miss. It's like, Kyle, Kyle. Sometimes you got to keep these stupid-ass thoughts to yourself. Yeah. And the backlash in, was so severe. In, in all fairness, like, old age probably will take care of him sooner or later anyway, so. He looks bad. <laughs> He's he's like maybe three or four years from just succumbing to being eleven six. So I was I was I, about to say is, both Trump and Biden are pretty much in that yeah. stage of are like you gonna they like don't, die they don't, I was gonna say, they don't need any help in that department. No. <laughs> Trump um, might, if if either of these guys get elected, they may not make it through this term. <laughs> yeah, I'll That's agree with that. Pretty much how that goes. I like a, I Let's all have a nice bowl of ice cream. <laughs> go on a train. 
you, you can't oh, Joe, the train ride. Go, oh, Joe, go in the corner. Go sniff some people. I don't... I just like... I just like the smell of uh, shampoo. That's so wrong. I'd rather you smell shampoo than real poo. <laughs> You're a true it's American. A what you. the hell? Oh, now, also now there are weapons. Oh, I also have the weapons. Oh, look he out. has. Oh, look out, pencil. Micro machine. Micro machines. Where are they going to take you? Look Damn out, it, I died table. on nobly, on Noblium. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, mean, I should have died. I should have died on Argon, because then I could say I Argon. <laughs> How many of you guys? Uh, had micro machines when you were kids. Um, I the Power Ranger ones. I had a couple of them. So did I. Is it? I don't know. This nah, would take away I, from I my never had. I had never had any micro machines when I was I more like when I was a young girl. Um, I I um, never. What? <laughs> what? I'm just clearing my throat. Go on, right. Michelle. <laughs> 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 anyway, I'm gonna cosplay as Bayonetta. Then I, then I was a little girl. He called me Michelle, so I just. Uh, I was a... <laughs> well, you said when I was a young girl, so. When I was a young hedgehog, warthog, whatever. When I was a Sonic, when Sonic was a young hedgehog, he stuffed chili dogs down his fucking gullet like a goddamn sieve. I mean, he he did that as an adult too, but to be honest, yeah. Cheery dog, <laughs> cheery dog. But, um, I was more, I was more fascinated by John Mashita, who did the commercials, rather than the oh yeah, themselves. Yeah, no, like the way that he freaking talked was phenomenal. Absolutely. Which they're back now, and they're and they're owned by um, Hot Wheels now. So Mattel owns it now. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! I was I was in the milk. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god. I'm hitting all the breakfast. Oh, you guys remember Penny Racers? Why is there so much toast on this game? We played, uh, we played a game based off of them. Yeah, we did. We played Chorro Q. Penny Racers? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that came up on... Uh... Jesus. No, not on Jesus, on the show. Yeah, yeah you, you I came think, on I Jesus. I think we got it in both roulettes. We got it in both PS2 and uh, N64. This is crazy. No, um, they just uh, couldn't use the actual toy name because Penny Racers has traded hands so many times in the United States. I had a couple of them, and uh, they were fun. I had, like, one. Okay. Uh, are you stuck? I didn't, I didn't know. I, it, uh, we're just going to pretend I finished that race. <laughs> Cherry. Hey, Mike, you did such a great job with that race. Great job. Yeah, I even finished first. <laughs> you finished oh, first. Oh, <laughs> my word. Oh, my God. Come first to win group. That is how orgies work. Yeah. Okay. So here's usually a... if you come first in the orgy, then you're out. They belch. Nineteen ninety two. That's what it says. Here's a little here's a little something that used to bug the shit out of me. Back in my what? In your day. <laughs> back in the <laughs> NES days. Uh-huh. Whenever I played RC Pro Am. Uh huh. Eminem, at least once a session, I would hold my uh, finger down on what I thought was the gas, 
but it turned out it was always the fucking horn. Uh. So it would go, do, do, do. Uh, <laughs> ah. Damn it. Hit the wrong button. Essentially, yes. Okay. That, that would be, ooh, my reaction. What? What kind of fucking Thanksgiving dinner is this? There's carrots and peas all over the fucking place. Are they all two year olds with obsessive compulsive disorder? Yes. Bazing, bazinga. <laughs> bazinga. I gotta line all of them up. It's gotta be five peas, then a carrot. Seventeen peas, then a carrot. Twelve peas, then a carrot. Then a carrot, then another carrot. Fifteen peas. Then another six peas and three carrots. Billy, was, are you, are you trying to tell us that was your childhood? You just you would just place random peas and carrots all over the place, building no, sculptures I didn't like. like in... No, Billy just peed on the table. That's all that is. Yeah, yeah. I don't like peas. I don't really care for peas. He just peed he everywhere. Does, he doesn't like. He doesn't like peas. Billy would just pee all over the table at Thanksgiving. His family would just like, be like, Billy, what the fuck is wrong with you? Stop I don't peeing like peas, so I'm peeing on the peas. Stop peeing on the table. And then his mom just looked at him and went, We're going to send you to the dungeon if you don't stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stu Hart comes out. I teach him everything. <laughs> oh, man. The Boogie 2298. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So Fake cancer diagnosis. And apparently, I, I don't have confirmation about this. I'm just looking at a video from somebody. He faked a heart attack on a stream? Par for the yeah. course of them. God, Boogie, just go away. The dude, the dude, the dude away. it's like, it's like, it's like, hey, Boogie, I have a great idea. Hey, you great idea. Weight, I have a hey, boogie. You, since you've lost all that weight and uh -huh. gained some of it back, but since you lost all that weight, why don't you get off your fat, lazy butt and go get a real job? No, because because I have disorders. I have I have gynecomastia. <laughs> your big tits keep you from getting a job. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I can't work anywhere because my boobies fall out, and then everybody gets offended. I, it's like, wear a bra, you fucking hippie. And I don't know what to tell them. <laughs> hey, listen, I they paid me $10,000 to do a pump and dump on a meme coin, Bitcoin shit. Pump and dump. <laughs> huh? They they paid Boogie to do a pump and dump on Bitcoin. That, How do you come on something that doesn't physically exist? Well, <laughs> I know it sounds dirty, but from what I understand, a pump and dump is kind of like a rug pull where people will shill some kind of Bitcoin, whatever. People will buy into it, and then they'll just take the money and run. I was under the impression a pump and dump was akin to a one night stand. <laughs> it is, but that's all. It, it has another meaning as well. Okay. Don't we should, don't ever say we should just Wikipedia. invent second meanings to all the dirty phrases so that we can keep using them. Okay. So a Cincinnati chug along is a slow moving train in Ohio. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, but it's also... But it's also... Jacking off is what you call it when you unhook the internet from the wall. Correct. See, Mike yes. gets it. <laughs> See, beating the bishop is when you go into a church and you start hitting the crap out of uh, a <laughs> person in a religious position. <laughs> Hole in the porpoise means you go to SeaWorld, you grab that little turd out of the water, and you just start dragging him across the cement. Jesus why would you Christ, grab? Billy. Why would you grab poop out of the water? I don't know. Oh my. 
Now, an Alaskan hot pocket. Mm -hmm. It's just a really cold hot pocket. It's a cold pocket. Exactly. (laughs) Caliente pocket. A uh, Saskatchewan sneeze. It's just, Uh, bless you. Is when you sneeze in Canada. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Specifically in Regina. Yeah. <laughs> Regina. Saskatchewan. Regina. <laughs> and Regina is just the name of a lady's no no parts. That's correct. <laughs> I live, my name is Regina. I live in Regina, and I'm a gynecologist, so I look at vagina. <laughs> Funny stuff. <laughs> Uh, SCTV will be with you shortly. So you're talking about? Are you, are you, hold on. Are you talking about Reg, Regina, the the Regina vagina doctor? <laughs> yes. Okay. Just oh wanted, my! Just wanted to be sure. Oh, Papa Regina Mike, you are so regarded. Thank you. Yeah. I am not your. I am not your daddy. Doctor. No, only only quality comedy here. That's right. It's true. The kind <laughs> where Alabama. You <laughs> Sweet. We only have quality comedy here. Boy, isn't it funny how cats and dogs are so different? Mm-hmm. I know. One goes woof, the other goes meow. What one, is one, the deal one goes, with the One goes woof, and the other goes, I'm going to kill your whole family. I didn't say... I didn't say dogs and Richard Ramirez, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Dogs. Uh, I thought you were saying the dogs and the Menendez brothers are different. <laughs> I thought you said the dogs and the Night Stalker were different. Ooh, imagine my surprise. So yeah, dogs a lot and of gold BGK on that wheel though. Uh, for the roulette. <laughs> there's a couple of there's a couple of games where it's like okay. Oh, yeah. Some some fun on here. Tonic trouble. Yeah. Road rash? Yeah. Road, yeah. Rug, rage? rug rage? Whatever that is? Well, there's one no. game that I that, that I think that we're all going to pick if it lands on our spot. Okay. I do see a WCW game on there. What do you, uh, what no, makes but you wasn't no. that like a really... They were no good at really that really point. I was going to say, what, what makes you think we're all going to pick that? <laughs> I know I will. No. Well, that's because you are a I'm, fucking sadist. <laughs> hey, Mayhem is not a bad game. I beg to differ. Oh, okay. Who be a see Doobie and Mayhem? It's not that bad. Who be a see Doobie and Mayhem? I was going to say, I myself, I'm partial to Battle Tanks or Jet Force Gemini. Listen, saying WCW Mayhem is a good game is like saying Casey Anthony was a good mother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so saying WCW Mayhem was thoughts? a good game. <laughs> Go ahead, finish finish that. It's so- like saying it's like saying Chris Benoit was a well-rounded mental individual. Uh, that's right. Thoughts on Micro Machine sixty four Turbo, Dane? Um. It wasn't too bad. The controls seemed a little wackadoo, but nothing that uh, nothing game breaking or anything. Right. It was uh, it was pretty darn good. Whack a whack a whack a doo wah. Jason. Yeah, nice uh, updated version of the NES game. So uh, you know, uh, not not too bad. Not too bad. Billy. I really don't care for uh, top view racers, to be quite honest. All right, uh, it's okay. it's fine. Um, for 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 a micro machines game, it's it's pretty well done. Uh, there's not really a whole lot else I can say about it. Scores out of ten, Dane. Six. Jason. Six. Billy. Five. And a, and a six for me. <laughs> that, almost, that was almost terrible. That was almost Satan. Neighbor of the beast. Hail Satan. All right. Sail Hatton. Blobbin' a booble. 
Let's spin this wheel. You've got the air. Okay, interesting. I vaguely remember the advertisements, but that's about all. Oh, yeah, this is an acclaim game. Hmm. There were a lot. There was a lot of acclaim games. And this is one of them. Oh, were they all critically acclaimed? Nah. Not really. This was made by Acclaim Studios T Side. Uh, which was based on uh, based in Stockton on Tees, England. Stockton on Tees, England? Hmm. Let's do this. They Let's get down to business. Home console and versions of various NBA games. Man. Uh, the N64 version of Forsaken. Uh, The Falcus brothers who made the game uh, left to form Atomic Planet Entertainment. I took them all to my heart. Uh, Mary Ann Nichols. Which went defunct in 2009. They were uh, based out of Middlesbrough, England. Middlesbrough. I would explain why they're talking about Jack the Ripper here. Still beating organ of the soul. Uh. Literally listed off all his the, victims. I have the rest and must Let's well, see. The one that we know. Violent. Yeah. Mike Tyson heavyweight boxing on PS2. How did you find this? Uh, Who are you? My name is Legion. Jackie Chan Adventures for Sony. My, my name is Legion for We Are Many. It does mm-hmm. My name is Legion. Certain Dark Souls. Oh, no. Uh oh. Like yourself. What is it that you want from me? You are an architect by trade, are you not? I am. I want to tell you something. I can see your willies hanging out. It's okay, it's an Emirate. Excuse me. It's okay, it's an Emirated game. Oh, okay. Your parents are shouting. I can see your camel toe. What the fuck's a camel toe? Wow, your bibs and bobs are showing. Oh, oh it's based on a comic book by Valiant Comics, because a claim had bought out Valiant Comics at one point. Well, I, I was like, yeah. that makes sense because Turok was on a Valiant was a Valiant comic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this game was also I guess released they were on like, Windows. PlayStation and Dreamcast. So I guess they were like, oh, Turok worked so well for us. Let's try another one. Let's do Shadow Man. Fucking sweet, dude. Then they realized... Yeah, apparently got a remaster uh, in 2021. Shadow Man did? Yeah. Oh, Seppuku. Night Dive Studios re-released Shadow Man. Jack the Ripper just com- committed Sudoku. Uh, there was also a sequel. <laughs> Shadow Man... Puek and Coming was released for PlayStation you wanna, 2 in 2002. Hold on. Do you want to say that again? <laughs> Puek and Coming? Is that what he said? Puek and Coming, because oh. they spelled second with a number two. Oh. And I'm also assuming that the game Tuek itself was coming. also number two. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, another game starring Jack Boniface, Shadow Man Dark Legacy, was recently announced. Oh, fun. In 2023. Oh, by the way, Dane, uh, I edited the I edited the episode that we did FIFA 99 in uh, a couple days ago and uh, uploaded it. And apparently, I, I put in the clip of the Dennis Beer Comp thing, and a, and it got blocked worldwide, so I had to cut it out. <laughs> what? Oh so that. Yeah. Well, fuck you, Dennis Beer Comp. It, yeah. He, he's not the one that claimed yeah. it. It was FIFA that claimed it. Fuck you, you, you know, you would have been better off just throwing in the um, Mundial soccer thing instead. FIFA, you fucker. So, 
I mean, it's, there's been times where I've asked for clips and you weren't able to put that's, them there. Yeah, that's so, the so. first time that one had to be edited out after after it was already completed. Even like even a silent clip of it? Yeah, no, it gets claimed. Ugh. Yeah. Jeez. Well, that's stupid. That's lame. It is lame. What you gotta do, Shadow Man. Yep, that represents the only time in show history where a uh, uh, an edit had to occur post post production. Okay. <laughs> I I say, oh chap, you should probably take that Dennis Bear cum out. Am I right? But there is Bear cum. Dennis Bear cum. He said Dennis shit. Bear. He said shit. There is Bear cum. There is Bear cum. There's usually bear cum. I hate this shit. I hate this shit. <laughs> That's what it said. I hate this girl. I was going to say, you almost went into yeah. the uh, I Believe in Joe Hendry tune. Say I his believe name. in Shadow Man. Evidently not. Say his name and he hates this shit. I believe in Shadow Man. I believe in Shadow Man. He hates fucking and sucking in Tokyo. He'd rather be blowing hookers in Mexico. He says, I believe in Shadow Man. He's in the asshole of the universe, he just said. Nice. I love it. Are we going to just ignore the fact that he was going using a boat to go through like a river of, of, of tears? Uh, yeah. A river of piss. A river of What's duck wrong with what is wrong with this man? A river of Can duck we... shit. Yeah. He's a Can shadow we... man. What does shadow man do? Um, shadowy stuff. He does he ducks. He goes into first person. He jumps like a dunkle tunt. And he tunts like a dunkle jump. Yeah. Oh, it. fuck me. Oh. He collapses See, on there's bridges. There's a problem right there. The, the goddamn bridge. Oh, my God. You have 999 of whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck knows what it is. I don't fucking know. I didn't even know this was a goddamn comic until about five minutes ago. Yeah, it looks like an elongated heart. Should probably get that looked at. Like... Probably. Here comes Shadow Man, shambling around. Whenever he farts, it doesn't make a sound. That is a horribly, horribly <laughs> glitchy polygon dog. dog. I had a feeling you could hang on stuff. But not roofs of houses, apparently. Who who was asking for a remaster of this game? Um Um Do I not I have know. do I not have a weapon? I must not be able to You have whatever You have the Book of Shadows. Oh that's a cadeau. Whatever the fuck oh, that is. Oh, Kado. Oh yeah, that thing. You know the thing. I don't. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. That thing. Yeah. Same. That God, thing. God, so stupid that I didn't know it was obviously a Kado. A do. A Kado. Gal Kado. It's. But see, the uh, thing is, what are we waiting for? for? It's. It's a Kado, a Kadir, a female Kadir. No, I was trying to make the waiting for Godot joke. Hey, uh, I made the waiting for Godot joke. I couldn't hear you, man. <laughs> or, or, or is it a Kinnear joke? A Greg, Greg Kinnear. A Greg Kinnear, yeah. I guess. So it's mildly funny. Mildly yeah, is it Oscar nominee? humorous. Yeah. yeah. That just means he's a good actor. That doesn't mean he's funny. 
Because remember, folks, Greg Kinnear was not nominated nom for an Oscar. The mama animated. Uh, mnemonic. Nom he was Johnny Mnemonic. Correct. For an Oscar. Yeah. Nope. Even Nomonia. though, even though that was Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> I am Keanu Mnemonic. Dog. Oh, uh, Billy, have you seen uh, uh, my dear friend uh, Nokatan yet? No. Oh, what? it's so good. I just want to say that dog's butthole is very unsettling. Your butthole's unsettling. Thanks. Oh, my main uh, character. Uh, apparently, my main character's name is Mike. How can I? Re who? Who is? I don't know any of these people, and what? What's going on? And what's wrong with your eyeballs, Shadow? He's wearing glasses, I think. Sunglasses. Yeah, possibly? he's he, he's wearing sunglasses. He's he's kind of like. Looks like a knockoff of uh, Vin Diesel's character from uh, Pitch Black. Okay, Riddick. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty. I was gonna say he kind of looks like he kind of looks like knockoff Morpheus. White Morpheus. Funny thing is, he uh, this character came out way before any of those guys did. Yeah. Well, well, given that the main pickup is called Cadeau, I'm assuming this is like set in New Orleans. Yes. They're talking about voodoo and Kado and yeah. I think it's the New Orleans thing. New Orleans. They're really they're saying they're saying Dark Soul an awful lot, and I'm not. I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, this is years before that would be a thing. Exactly. You got my stuff? Gassy. Yep. Jesus, Luke, he's alive. I did say I was. I yep. He's dead, Mike. You know that. No, no lies detected. I saw. It's understandable that you still have. You want to know what's definitely not a lie? This game is fucking boring. <laughs> yeah. Use it, Mike. Use it, Miguel. Go, go see John T. Mm. It'd be ironic if John. Go see John T. It would be ironic if John T was really depressed. Why is that? Because his name is John T. Oh. If he's depressed, he's very much not John T. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Let's take all your cadeau. Did you give her her cadeau back? That's not nice. I guess she'll be waiting for... No, never mind. We already did that joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Mike. That's he put his finger in a dike. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. Come on. There, there we go. Yeah, there you go. I was stuck on the ground mausoleum for a minute. <laughs> ground mausoleum. Yeah, buried him in the ground mausoleum. Oh, yeah. Mausoleum. I would, like to, I would like to point out. Did you come back from the ground mausoleum? I would like to point out. You have not faced one enemy yet. Oh, so I have gun. I have oh. gun now. I has gun? I has gun. I, I heard generic ricochet. Ka -ka -ping. Generic. So ricochet. did I. Listen, uh, you can still hear it if you listen. I'm married to Samantha, the ring announcer from WWE. No, I'm not married Samantha to her. Samantha Urban. I'm, da I'm dating her. Engaged. She's hot. Yeah, uh, she she's hot. She, she's, ori she's originally from my area. Boston. Uh, South Coast. So she's a mass hole? Yep. She's, I guess. A, she's the prettiest mass hole I ever seen. Oh, there's 
There, there are a lot of them actually. Uh, I would like Tomasa to, Champa I would just like to uh, put it in her mass hole. Wait a minute. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, you. Tomasa Champa just became a member of the Dunkings. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Dunkle Tunts. No, nah, mm. no, nah, the that elite group with uh, Ben Affleck, Tom Brady, you know, like them with the Duncan tracksuits. So oh, really? Tomasa Champa is now a member of the Dunkings. Interesting. In a horror danger, movie. danger. High voltage. When we touch, when we kiss. <laughs> Don't you just love Electric Six references? <laughs> okay. Well, fine. Remember, well, fine, then I won't do any more of them. Remember in the music video when the lead singer and that one woman were like hardcore making out for like half the video? Yes. I do remember that. And she was kind of old looking. Well, knowing Electric Six, I, I'm assuming that he took her to a gay bar. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what's and crazy? Course, and, of course, if he took her to a gay bar, they may have been proper dancing. Right. They probably started what, a what, nuclear war. What's crazy, Jays? Champa first made his appearance in WWE... In 2005, yep, as as a lawyer, Thomas Whitney Esquire, yep, as as Hootie what now? Hootie and the Blowfish, yeah. Thomas Whitney Esquire. I, I he had hair back then. Tommaso Ciampa. Yep, made his debut at the DCU Center in Worcester. And in the DC universe, he was known. As Tommaso Ciampa, because, I mean, it's still a pretty cool name. Yeah. yeah. Das ist true. Das ist. Hey, what stuff are you getting rid of? Um, oh, nice. We're going to put the bodies. We're going to put the bodies in the bowl of water. Got to let the bodies hit the floor. Mm-hmm. We'll get, get, put the dildos over there. There's dogs everywhere. What the fuck is this? Ugh. It's not even that this game is bad. It's just so fucking boring. There's nothing going on. Yeah. Yeah. There's no enemies. Seriously, I don't think you've encountered one enemy, and this segment is almost over. Yeah. Oh, Th this terrible. is the bridge that was out earlier. Did you go in a blooming circle? I might have. Hey, oh, ridiculous. Shit. That's uh, what that sounds like. What, shit? <laughs> yeah, about... It, it wish, happened. Wish, wish. Yeah, I just dropped in Discord the uh, picture of uh, Champa as a dunking. Well, that's interesting. It's a very, uh, very nice looking uh, tracksuit there. Yeah. Yeah, it goes to show you. You can take the mess hole out of... Uh, well, uh, something. I, I figured that was where the go. You could take the mass hole out of Massachusetts, but they won't be a mass hole. They'll always be a mass hole. I you, don't know. You could take my pants off anytime, Charlie. What? Huh? But. <laughs> okay, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, um, if you want me to take Lower the pants. your pants. <laughs> Thoughts on... Take your pants off right now. Thank on... Uh, th uh, thank on, yeah. Uh, thoughts on Shadow Man, Dane? Um, 
very boring. Literally nothing happens. Oh, it's, it literally says right there, Bayou Paradise, Louisiana. So, yes, it does take well, place. Well, there you go. You didn't fight any enemies. You literally just you walked around. You talked to one person. You saw dogs' buttholes, and that was about it. Yeah, there's no enemies in Louisiana. <laughs> just, just girls who really want to show you their titties for beads. Uh, Jason, your thoughts? And, uh, uh, this this was a boring ass game. <sighs> yeah, I, I I concur. Is Billy still here? No. I think he stepped away. He stepped away. Yeah, I concur. This is a. Uh... Nothing's happening. I, I'm sure that if I get further into the game, something will start happening. But at present, man, this is just not fun. I I don't know. It's, scores out of ten, Dane. One. Jason. One. Yeah, one. And it's not even. Oh, this game is bad. It's more like absolutely nothing has happened. All right, on to the next game, the third game of this episode. Very nice. Ooh, good game. Yes. Multiplayer multiplayer in this game was always fun. Do 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 Yes. Nuke Dukem, yep. Nuke Dukem Zero Hour. Nuke Dukem. These were these were different from the PC releases, right? Uh yeah, I believe Zero Hour was an N sixty four exclusive. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's rock. Whoa, 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 let's rock. Now I'm I'm turning on first person view because that's how I'm used to playing new games, but this is actually a third person adventure game or action game. Oh yeah, it is. I don't did know what you, you're did playing. Did you figure out what you had to get rid of? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. This is uh, this is a N sixty four exclusive. Yep. As there were four spinoffs: Time yeah. to Kill on PlayStation, Time to Kill, Land, Land of the, of the Babes. Babes, and Manhattan Project. That's right. And Manhattan Project was the most recent of the four. Yep. Two thousand two for uh, Xbox Live Arcade in twenty ten, Windows, uh, Steam in twenty thirteen. And iOS devices in 2014. Also, this cutscene probably represents the most that John St. John has ever talked as Duke in a video game ever. <laughs> Up until recently with the really bad one. Yeah. But that was like uh, two whole paragraphs of dialogue. Oh, it's B to activate. Okay. He speaks more as uh, Big the Cat than a Duke Nukem half the Typically, time. Typically, yeah. Well, huh. In late 2023, Zen Studios announced a new digital pinball adaptation of Duke Nukem called Duke Nukem's Big Shot Pinball, the first non-horror table for the adult pinball game Pinball M. You know, I feel like they, they missed a golden opportunity to call the Balls of Steel. Yeah, I've got balls. You know, if it does well enough, you know there will be another one. Uh, in 2017, someone from Gearbox said there were no plans for another Duke Nukem title in the future. What a shame. Yeah. So whatever, whatever early concept work was done in 2015, they scrapped it and said, screw it. And do we really need to go back and make another one of those games? I mean, nah. I mean, After Doom Duke Duke Forever. Yeah. Uh, Legendary Entertainment announced in 2022 
that they acquired the rights to make Duke Nukem uh, a movie. <laughs> hmm. This film will be helmed yeah. by the team behind Cobra Kai, Josh Hield, John Hurwitz, and Hayden Schlossberg for Counterbalance Entertainment, and Jean-Julien Baronet from Marla Studio. Hmm. Okay, now who would they get to play Duke Nukem? John Cena! Do, do, no, do, no, do. no. John Cena's too busy. Do, do. John Cena's too busy being earnest. Yeah, he's too busy being peacemaker. Yeah, he's too busy retiring from WWE. That too. Next year. Yeah, he's he's gonna have like a year and a half long retirement tour because I don't think he's retiring at WrestleMania. That's just like the first major major stop since he's also doing the Royal Rumble. Okay. How do crouch? How do I do? Oh, I just I gotta do that. I'll huh? give him this. I'll, I'll give him this credit. He brought legitimacy to the U.S. title back. Back in the day, yeah. Just like uh, just yeah. like Gunther brought back legitimacy to the uh, Intercontinental title. He put it's some true. shine yeah. on that. Uh huh. And then they give the U.S. title to Logan Paul. Oh, Pogan Lol. Lol. Mr. I have a big chin, big nose, and I look like a male version of a Halloween witch. <laughs> he does! He uh, I the just green think he a sounds like a giant breathing, living douchebag. Shit. That too. Shit. Bag. And I can tell you what we don't we we don't claim him in Ohio. We do not claim him. We do not claim his brother. Unfortunately, that's where they're from. They're you from mean Cleveland. like on our taxes or? Oh God damn it! But, and they, grew up, but they grew up little little uh, rich boys in Shaker Heights. I thought you were gonna say little bitches. In Cleveland. Oh, that well, too. Well, that, that too. That too. <laughs> Most people of you say, "Well, you're from Cleveland. Where are you from in Cleveland? Shaker Heights. Hey, get away from me." <laughs> it's serious. Oh man. Like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a very rich neighborhood, but they're all scum there. Well, it's like it's like, "Oh, you're from Shaker Heights. Give me all your money." Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, is this so? Also... Oh, man. Uh, what a tutorial. Duke Nukem does not need a tutorial. Oh, uh, another good anime coming out this season? Kaneko Man. Yeah. yeah. With my rice, I like to have some cow, cow, cow. Uh, okay. It's, it, it was, it was the, uh, the rice and beef song from, uh, Kaneko Man. Ultimate. Junior. He, well, yeah, they they did a decent job of translating that, actually. Like, uh, they even kept the uh, tune the same. They just changed the instrumentation. They made it less Japanese-y. Gotcha. You're on the like, planet! He had a kid! Moving to the country, going to eat me a lot of country. Oh, oh! I oh. thought you were gonna have peaches. I guess not. Nope, just trees full of well, you know, leaves. Yep. Mm. 
if I go yep. to karaoke, I'm going to pull the same prank I did the last time. And then I'm going to sing that song features. I'm going to go, go into the country, go into the country, go into <laughs> just sing that line over and over again. Wow, Billy, you are the master of pranks. Well, I did that one time. I'm going to pull the same trick hilarious. I did the last time and sing all yeah. of Nickelback's greatest hit. Oh, man. Greatest hit. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to a karaoke place and say, hey, you have John Cage's 433. Look at this photograph. Every Look time I do a photograph. photograph. Photograph, photograph. Look at this graph. Look at Look this, this pornograph. But it sure beats the hell Every time I do it makes me laugh. Every time I do it makes me fap. Squeak, 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 really squeak. I'm just sitting here playing with my dick. <laughs> and out of it pops nest quick. Wait, that, that shouldn't be right. Look at this photograph. Every time Graph. I do a photograph. Graph. Oh, yeah. Every time I do a photograph. Oh, God. What happened to me? Photograph. It makes me photograph. How? How? Don't let go. Ah. You got the music in you. One dance left. This world is gonna pull true. No. Can't forget we only get what we give. Wow. Did you know that I pooped? The, the New Radicals, uh -huh. they made that music video at the Staten Island Mall. I believe you've, you've actually told me that, so I, I did know that, yes. Good, so I don't want to explain it again. Someday we'll know that love can move a mountain. Someday we'll know why a sunny blue. Uh, yeah, mom. No, he because she was a she was very horny. She was a hua. Well, I wasn't gonna say that, but. I was. Sunny. And I did. You ran over somebody and they died. <laughs> it's true. It is true. That did happen. And, and it was terrible that it happened. It was terrible. When that happened. Walk this way. Talk okay. this way. Walk this way. Uh, now talk this way. Uh. Well, it couldn't get any dumber. Actually, yes, it could. Wait. Duh! I'm the federal government. There we go. That's pretty much as dumb as it gets. <laughs> ah, lousy smart I'm weather. I'm Gas. I ruined my career. <laughs> I mean, he he did. You really, there's no yeah. refuting that. I mean, it's true. He can't blame anybody else but himself. No, 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 no. You really? I was gonna say, Kyle, that's a you problem. There are just certain things in this world that you just go, you know, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. I mean, you you're free to not like. Donald Trump, but in this instance, you should have just, you know, like. You should have just shut your mouth. Yeah, you should have just shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. 
You should have been shutting up, yeah. You should have been shutting up, yeah. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut tonight. Is this candy store owned by the guy that played Blade in the Blade TV series? Uh, <laughs> sure. That sh that show is a piece of crap. It is. I never said it was good. I know. I just wanted to reiterate that that show is. Oh wow! What is what is going on? I sent the thing in a message. What's the difference? And it's saying. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I heard. <laughs> I love these the half conversations. Ooh, erotic cakes. Ooh, oh. erotic so cakes. not only so that so not only you know that horrible thing happened over the weekend, but also Richard Simmons died. Yes, uh, so yeah. and so did uh, yeah, Doctor Ruth and uh, Shannon Doherty. Yeah, well, they all died. Yeah, the Grim Reaper's just kind of swinging for the fences without even caring anymore, huh? You know, it's, you know, if you were I a mean, celebrity... If you can't, if you you were can't get Mitch McConnell... Then what's, the, the, what's the fucking point? <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I will I mean, be right back. I, I, think, being... I think he was I think he was on a victory lap after Henry Kissinger. He just stopped caring. <laughs> The older that man gets, the more he looks more and more like a Galapagos tortoise. <laughs> oh, no, the booby trap. The booby trap. The truby bap. I don't, I don't. The booby I, 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 <laughs> I, I want to get booby slap. What? I want to, I want to, I want to do a booby slap. I mean, so I want to get you're, slapped by boobies. You're the one person in this call that could do it. <laughs> no, what I mean is, I want to get slapped by boobies, oh. and then slap the boobies. Yeah, same. And then motorboat. Slap the boobies. Slap the titty. Slap the tits. Yes. Slap the titty. Don't do that. That hurts the boobies. And then, and then, and then do that 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 zerp. You, Thing. You don't want to. You don't want to hurt the boobala. No, you don't. That's how they, that's how they get the cancer, the braces. Save these babes. The vitamin X. Ah, uh, vitamin X. I'm pretty X. sure you mean steroids. This says six 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 on it. This this thing. Ha 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 ha! He's a funny joke. Huh? He's a funny oh, yeah, joke. You see what I? Uh, you see what I posted on uh, Discord? Porn? No, I have not. It's uh tonight's episode: the writer's barely disguised finish. Oh, uh, yeah. I like Molly. Do, 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 do. That's the writers. <laughs> oh no, no, oh. this is actually different. Oh man. Uh, this, this... Makina san no mama naranai hibi, uh, which is a comedy about a babysitter android <laughs> and sold it... off to a recycling shop, and, and an English. adult man buys her. Translated English so means more meat than your mouth can take. <laughs> anyway, thoughts on Duke Nukem Zero Hour, Dane? Well. It's the big show. <laughs> yeah, it's what the big man. This game isn't too bad. Yeah, it's a but good then game. again, I like Duke Nukem games. Yeah, it's, it was it was all right. It, it was not, not ain't no great shakes, but it wasn't bad. It gets better as you go, uh, Jason. This game ain't half bad. 
Hey, Donald. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm both Waldorf and Statler. And Statler. <laughs> We're an old gay couple. Uh, Billy. This game. <laughs> what the there fuck? Some people that complained did, about it. Did you deflate? Did you did you deflate at the start of your sentence? <laughs> well, uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> Billy had to sit on a whoopee cushion some, before he provided his opinion. <laughs> yeah, there were some people that complained about this game back in the day. But they're like, "Oh, it's a third person." It's like, well, you um, never played the first two Duke Nukem games, did you? Yeah, first two were they side scrollers. There was real different. It was only yeah. the third game that, that that started the trend of being first person shooter. So yeah, there, I think there's. I literally think there's only two two games in the series that were primarily first person shooters, and those were Duke Nukem 3D and Duke Nukem Forever. The rest were either third person games, yeah, or side scrollers. Uh, yeah, yeah, I actually really like this game. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Duke Nukem game. Uh, used to be Duke Nukem 3D for a long time, but this has since surpassed it. It's it's a lot of fun, and uh, the time jumping you do during this game, where you get access to different weapons in different time periods, is a fun gimmick. Um, I enjoy it. This is probably the the most well put together Duke Nukem game there is, and complete with a, a a full story that you can follow. It's it's fun. Scores out of ten, Dane. Nine. Billy. Nine. Jason. Eight. I'm going to give it a nine. On this edition of the show, we played Micro Machine 64 Turbo, Shadow Man, and Duke Nukem Zero Hour. What's the best game of the episode, Dane? Duke Nukem. Jason. Uh, Shadow Machine's Nukem. Uh, what? Obviously Duke Nukem. Yeah. What a great Billy. game. Billy. Shadows Duke Machine. <laughs> A way to try to do what Jace did, but worse somehow. <laughs> More like a Duke machine. <laughs> uh, yeah, Billy is a Duke machine. <laughs> He's a Duke oh, machine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Duke Nukem wins. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dame Forge, Jason Amherst, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Gradley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette. <laughs>